Proven Winning Overlays, video 17i. This is uh, Oaklawn Park, uh, video 401 in my series. Uh, that's a lot of videos. But uh, as you can see here, uh, this well, this is going to be a good learning race for you. This is one of the better ones. As you can see here, I've highlighted that this is a maiden special weight uh, condition and... Uh, I've also highlighted the D for dirt, and you ask, why would I do that? Well, because uh, the race has come up sloppy. Uh, the rains came, and let's see, this is race 8 on this particular day at Oaklawn, and the track became sloppy in the previous race and was sloppy here, so that makes it a double preferred race. What is that? Okay. Over on the... Uh, Horse Racing Digest page, you can see the uh, handicap video link there, or you can click on the little laptop computer, and it takes you to the page with the 400 and some videos, and right here on the right hand side is the value odds preferred races, okay? We focus on these races because about 90% of all the horses that win that have the value odds icon, they come out of these races. Okay, so we got maiden claiming and uh, maiden special weight. So in this particular video is a maiden special weight. Then you got claiming races with a condition, nine winners or something. Then you got bottom and low level claimers, five to ten thousand dollar range. Uh, then you got all races run over the turf, and finally, all races run over a wet track, sloppy, muddy, etc. And this race is that as well. So, we have a situation here, a double preferred race. Alright, this is a good situation for us. Um, the seven took all the money, print silver. I think they bet this one down around six to five. Number four, Saratoga Red. First of all, you gotta love that name. That's an awesome name. Um, let me tell you, uh, the fact that this horse is 20 to 1, it's drifting 20, 20 to 25 to 1 near post time. And uh, obviously, it is uh, made our first time starter criteria to be made the second pick in here. 12 to 1 morning line and the report, our report rates this one at uh, 3 to 1 true odds. So, if we rate the horse at, tw at three to one first asking, we feel like the uh, horse can win at first asking, and it's going off at twenty to one. This is a, you know, one of the situations we look at. Uh, we got a mile here, okay? Uh, two turns, uh, Sire Eddington, and damn Sire Siphon, but especially Eddington, the Sire here. Um, he won, I think. Nine and a half furlongs was he won a grade one race. I'm, I don't really remember, but I know he won a grade one race going a route of ground, and he could run. He was, you know, he could. He was a route runner. He was not, you know. So it, it would be no surprise, and so was the damn sire siphon. So it would be absolutely no surprise for this horse to run well at first, asking going the the tough distance of a mile eight furlongs uh, for your first try, but there's some factors involved here. Uh, first off, the workout icon. Now that indicates that uh, Saratoga Red has had some fast works. A trainer, Hall of Fame trainer, D. Wayne Lucas. Okay, so the icon indicates fast works. Now, the workout points of a 108, which I highlighted here, indicates that he has had uh, a good pattern of works. Uh, now, the workout points takes into account how many workouts spaced out by how many days, and also it takes into account the length of the workouts. Uh, with my rating system, a 100 is considered perfect, a perfect pattern. So, um, a 108, uh, D. Wayne Lucas is obviously is obviously showing his hand here. 
And if you know how to read these reports, you you, you know, it becomes obvious as you get to use these reports over time, these stuff, this stuff will become obvious to you. But uh, it's obvious that the D. Wayne Lucas is giving this horse a lot of action in the morning. And so, um, you know, everything points to the fact that Lucas may believe this horse is, can win at first asking. And um, the sire says he can. Uh, but you don't even need to know all that. I just gave you that information uh, just so you could learn a little bit. Um, the fast workouts, uh, the, uh, the icon, that's a bonus. You, that doesn't need to be in place. Remember, the main thing is the odds on our value odds horse. So even if Saratoga Red didn't have the workout icon um, and didn't have uh, whatever else, but was the second pick, that's good enough in my book at 20 to 1. Uh, I was just giving you some background of what I noticed about the horse, and you can put that in your mental memory bank, and uh, you can remember it uh, for future use. So, uh, all right. So uh, we're pretty satisfied with twenty to one, just floating floating around twenty twenty five to one uh, on a sloppy track, uh, made special double preferred race. We love those situations. So uh, all we got to do now is put our bet together. And um, first bet, we always put the win bet down before we do anything else. Some people only bet to win. Some members so do so very well betting to win only in these types of situations. But uh, I also have a strategy for exotic wagers. But I just want to say, I say this in every video, you don't want to have a trifecta ticket keying a 20 to 1 shot on top. Uh, in case you miss the trifecta and come up with nothing, you need to get the win bet down first before you go to the exotic wagers. Uh, for the video purposes, I go 10 bucks to win. Of course, how much you bet depends on your bankroll. Um, but uh, so we've got t 10 bucks to win on Saratoga Red to start things off. Next, uh, my exacta bets. I always wheel the exactas with all. That's my strategy when I have this. So I've had. That would be a four all two dollar exacta. If there was a daily double in here, which there isn't, it would be an all wager as well. Um, but there is no daily double. Now, Oakland doesn't have a lot of gimmicky stuff, and but can't have everything. But uh, anyway, uh, so we got an all four all exacta, a trifecta wager. Okay, going to key the four on top all by itself. In the second position of the trifecta, we're going to put seven, five, one, eight. What is that? That is the rest of the horses in Group A up here, and the top horse in Group B, number eight. Those horses go in the second position of the trifecta, and then we go all for third, and then in the superfecta, all for fourth. And then I pick three wagers. Uh, you would key these horses as a single, obviously. But let me tell you what happened. Uh, top pick won the previous race, and the value odds horse won the first race. Bla uh, Black Itis Jojo was a uh, won the race that kicked off this pick three. Although bet down a little bit, uh, was a winner with the total pace icon. So we had the value odds winner to kick the pick three off top pick winner and then obviously we're on Saratoga Red here um, for the pick three but uh, what you can do is play your value odds horse with the group A horses in the other two races okay that's how you you come up with your pick three matrix so to speak alright so uh, we already have a bet at 20 to 1 but background information that I gave you about the workouts the fast time and the pattern of workouts and the D. Wayne Lucas factor and the sire factor uh, all gives you confidence in your 20 to 1 wager. And look at that. Now, here's, here's an interesting run line. Grab the lead, lost the lead, well, by a head, but was uh, not... Uh, happy about that and uh, this horse fought tooth and nail as you can see here 
got his got the lead back only by a head and this continued all the way around the racetrack and lasted by a neck i mean this horse was like you know get out of my way i'm starting my career my sire is eddington and i can go a mile with with one arm tied behind my back well or one leg on three legs i don't know anyway 22 and a half to one was the final odds uh did not disappoint 47 dollars on your win mutual on your value odds horse uh Class six paid thirty four grand. Here's our exacta two thousand. Oh uh, yeah, two thousand. Oh, okay, two hundred twelve eighty. Uh, the trifecta six fifty five ten. Let me get you to the payoff page. All right, here's all your returns. Ten dollar win bet on Saratoga Red returns two hundred thirty five. Our exacta two hundred twelve eighty. Uh, like I said, the trifecta for one dollar. 655 10 and that pick three uh, which we had a value odds winner kick off the pick three then a top pick and then Saratoga read the value odds winner here for one dollar return 611.50 all right a uh, nice little combination here at Oakland uh, all total here at 1714.40 not a whole lot of money uh, nothing to sneeze at but not a whole lot of money. I mean, usually my videos are are scores between two thousand and five thousand or higher. But I, there was this was such a good learning race uh, that I chose this for video purposes because I thought you could get a lot out of it in learning how to read the reports and to decipher because that's basically all your job is. Your job is to look at these reports and to recognize what you're looking at. And, you know, once you use the reports a while, it will take you literally, within 30 seconds, you could sum up, you could sum up a race. Uh, me, I can do it in 10 seconds, okay? Think, think about that. Um, you know, the average, I would think the average horse player spends, uh, it, well, in the old days, I would spend a good hour on a race sometimes more depending on the race but you know nowadays uh, these reports have done all the work for us my handicapping has has been automated through uh, the wonderful world of computers so uh, everything that I know is is on the computer program and analyzed this race and came up with this play so uh, all the hard work was done you know like I said all you have guys have to do and ladies is is recognize what you're looking at in situations uh, like for example this is a double preferred race why you know think of it as what it is a double preferred race is better than just a preferred race because we have a race here in which two two of our conditions exist sloppy track and made in special weight these are the races the value odds horses win so it's a it's a twofer it's a double preferred all right um, all you had to do is know that, which I just I showed you easily how to spot that. Look and see 20 to 1, or if you use twinspires.com, you can set a minimum odds, um, you know, criteria on that. So you don't have to actually be there a minute to post time to make the bet. You can do twinspires. Um, set your minimum bets at uh, whatever you want. And uh, it will place the bet for you if your horse goes off at that price. I think it's a fantastic, uh, a fantastic option that they have. They don't, they're not an advertiser with us, although the people at Twin Spires, you know, they they contact me every now and then um, to do a referral thing. But you know what? I you know I'm not in the business of advertising or referrals. Uh, I gladly give my stamp of approval to Twin Spires. Um, Dot com for the fact that what they have there for the horse player uh, you know you're able to wager online the money goes into the betting pools here you know it's not going off offshore so that you know and remember when you bet offshore you're throwing money outside the horse industry outside of the United States so it doesn't do any good and they try to lure you with rebates and everything but I, I suggest you know wholeheartedly that you keep your wagering action 
here in the states let that money all be put into the pools so that we preserve this game that we like okay so twin uh, twin spires obviously is owned by churchill downs um my recommendation uh unsolicited unpaid recommendation uh for you to wager they have excellent tools for the horse player and i know a lot of members that are doing very well with these reports and using the minimum ob odds option um, over there at uh, Twin Spires. Okay. Uh, they call it conditional wagering, by the way. So if you go to the Twin Spires website, um, just look for conditional wagering. Uh, that allows you to set, let, let's say you want to set the minimum odds at 15 to 1 or whatever. And then I mean, you don't have to be there for the race. You can bet in advance. And if Saratoga Red goes off at 15 to 1 or higher, place my bet. Place all my bets. And so then the race comes and it'll, zero minutes to post time. It'll look at Saratoga Red's odds. And the computer will either place your bet or not place your bet, depending on your condition of your odds. Okay? So uh, there are some extra tools to help you. Um, you know, in the old days, we had to stare at the tote board for, you know, if we wanted to do what we needed to do. We no longer have to do that, okay? Uh, we can literally make a race a bet in the morning, go to Disney World with your family, and come home and see what happened. I mean, you know, I'm just giving you a stupid example. But uh, you don't have to be there anymore to stare at the tote board. Those days are... Technology has helped us, uh, given us freedom. Um, the technology that of these reports have given you the freedom. You don't have to spend uh, eight hours a day handicapping. And uh, other places like TwinSpires.com has given you the freedom that you can, uh, you don't have to sit there and stare at a tote board till, you, till your eyes start bleeding. Um, so, you know, racing's getting better. It's really a lot fun, now, a lot more fun now that all the hard work is taken out of it. And some players still like to do the hard work because they feel like, you know, that's the fun part. But this, this can be fun. I mean, you know, you're able to scan a lot of different tracks by using these reports, you know. Whereas, if you did it the old-fashioned way, you're probably limited to one track. It's going to take up a lot of your time. You can literally scan every track and uh, look for certain situations like this and have all those bets in place. And, you know, you could do this in, like... I know people, members that bet every, that look at every race at every track every day, and they put in like maybe 30 minutes of work in the morning to get their bets in, and then they follow up in the afternoon to see, you know, what happened with their bets, and that's covering every race at every track, looking for value odds horses in preferred races, going off at the odds we want. Okay, now remember, we don't want to bet a value odds horse at four to one. That's, that defeats the purpose. But when they're going off at 20 to 1, yeah, that in a double preferred race, that is it. That is the ticket there. All right. I have uh, made it below 20 minutes on this one. I'll give myself a medal. Uh, thanks a lot for viewing, as always, and good luck with all your wagers.